Okay, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Shogi from Shook Earth Media and today we're talking again about The Walking Dead and now we're talking today we're talking about Daryl and Leia. I found this article here on what is this website? I don't know what this website is. But anyways, they're talking about Walking Dead. It came up in my Facebook feed and I just wanted to touch on it because I thought it actually raised a pretty good point here about Leia and Daryl. Now, I've always said how Leia's whole they're, the the Reapers are my family thing was a bit strange since she seemingly abandoned them and then went, ended up going back to them and we never understood why she left or how she never said that she got separated and this episode brings up that when Daryl goes to Leia's cabin where they had uh, their relationship occurred previously there was signs of a struggle now I had forgotten this because I don't want to remember that episode. I didn't care for that episode very much. I only watched it once. But they're mentioning here that there's signs of a struggle, strongly suggesting that Leia didn't rejoin her old team willingly. So that's the thing. Like I, I don't think they figured out this family angle until well into season 11, or writing season 11. And they wanted to find a way... They didn't want to just have Leia turn to Daryl's side because they thought it would be too predictable and not interesting enough. So I I am perplexed that they really let this slide, you know? I really don't think that they intended that whole family angle at first. And it really ends up being kind of odd. Uh, so, you know, I just wanted to come on today and say that uh so she appears like well, let's just read some of the article Leia reveals how her reaper family found her after not giving up their surge uh Le Leia describes her turning to the reapers as like going home and when viewers get their first taste of reaper hq she appears a trusted influential member of their cult-like society this i don't know i guess they're cult-like this doesn't neatly align with how Leia's story was left in wa The Walking Dead Season 10. If the Reapers were Leia's family bringing her home after becoming separated, why would a fight have broken out at her cabin? Even more curiously, why didn't Leia take Dog? Exactly, this was ended up being Leia's dog, which was a thing I didn't care for because I really liked how... Daryl had a dog, and he named him Dog. It seemed like such a Daryl thing to do, but they seemingly took that away from Daryl and gave it to Leia instead, and Daryl simply inherited the dog. Um, so I didn't really care for that revelation in general. So it is strange that she didn't take the dog with her, because if this was her family... Why was there a fight and why, you know, it, there's a lot of unanswered questions here. And it does feel to me like it was not intended that way. Typically, in past seasons, I would have said that all of these questions we're asking in this article here would have had answers. They would have thought of this. Uh, there, there, there are logical issues, plot holes and stuff. I mean, there's it, it exists in everything. But previously... They were thoughtful enough to avoid glaring issues like this. They would have had this whole plan with Leia in place already. Uh, so I really, you know, I, I don't even really know what the thinking was going into this character. I don't know why they felt like Daryl needed a love interest. Why they thought that them bickering the whole episode would be interesting. And in that episode, in and of itself, it's like Daryl's supposed to be searching for Rick, but he seemingly orbits this cabin the whole time. It's like he's not even really looking. I mean, it, it, it you have to... It, he kept going back to his own base of operations, going back to this cabin. If he's retreading the same ground constantly, and he's not in a systematic way looking for rick you know scavenging the landscape looking at maps measuring where he is if he's not doing any of that i don't know how he could possibly make any progress in the search for rick so i don't know why they thought that this storyline was was the best way to go about it so 
And I have my misgivings about the Season 10 bonus episodes. You guys know about that already. I almost wish I was doing reviews at that point because I would have been very exasperated. <laughs> but yeah, so let's just continue with the article. Uh, yeah, she reclaims the dog right, at, right after meeting back with Daryl. And she's acting like she never abandoned him. So it's really odd that there are the signs of the struggle and then abandoning the dog. You know, unless it was like she got found by somebody else, some enemy to her or the Reapers or just coincidentally a different group that was just trying to rob her or something. And then she got saved by the Reapers. And since everybody in this show can magically find everybody, <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me too much. But here's the thing. Why was she staying at this cabin? Why wasn't she looking for her previous group if they were so, mo so meaningful to her? Why was she living on her own? Why wasn't she looking for them in the same way that Daryl was looking for Rick? You know, I just don't really understand what the thought process was behind that. <laughs> and also, like, if their relationship, like, went on for so long, I don't know why she didn't know more about him or they didn't have more conversations about stuff like that. So, you know, again, I don't really, I don't really know. The trash cabin is easier to explain away, they say. Uh, Leia might have mistaken her Reaper pals for generic post-apocalyptic baddies, fighting them before the truth was revealed and everyone started hugging. That's a good explanation for it. I could see that happening, but why wouldn't, why wouldn't we get more details on that? The Reapers may have also ransacked Leia's home as a mean of, means of covering their tracks, but why would they do that? Why would they feel the need to do that? Is anybody looking for Leia? Why would they assume that somebody's looking? somebody else is looking for Leia? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, harder to reconcile is why Leia didn't take Dog with her. The mutt was incredibly precious to its original owner. And surely the dog would have been involved in the scuffle in some way. Don't you think the dog would have tried to protect Leia? Or would have been in the vicinity? Would have heard some struggles going on? Uh, with Leia relying on the dog for comfort after her son succumbed to a zombie bite, I forgot that she even had a son. I forgot that that was a plot element. If Leia was simply returning home to the people she trusted most in the world, there's no reason she wouldn't take dog along. You know, I think I hated that episode so much, I just, like, tuned out. <laughs> I just, like, stopped paying attention. Maybe I have to watch it again, just because, like, I don't remember... That she, she had a son? What? <laughs> Maybe Leia thought Dog would be better off with Daryl. Really? But if there were concerns about the Reapers being pet friendly, why would she take Dog back to them in the present day? Yeah, that's not consistent. The animal certainly seems happy enough trotting by Leia's side, and Reapers aren't queuing up for a hot dog lunch or anything. There are two possible explanations for the discrepancy between Leia's disappearance and her recent reunion with Daryl. While the character was always envisioned as a secret reaper, according to the showrunner, that, yeah, we, we've seen that in interviews, maybe The Walking Dead initially planned for Leia to have been abducted by her old group, this is what I was saying, uh, but changed direction while writing season 11, making her a more willing reaper, yeah. I think the whole family angle was tacked on midway through season 11. Uh, yeah, abducted would have made more sense. And then, yeah, writing it, they, they decided that it would be... If she got abducted by them, she Daryl wouldn't have to convince her. They She would already, like, want to leave, you know, right? And also, she wouldn't have been in a position of leadership that she was shown to be. So, you know, that makes sense. On the other hand, leaving Dog behind could signpost Leia's hidden distrust toward Pope and her old comrades. Yeah, but her old comrades are her family, right? A concerning mix of ex-mercenary and deluded cult leader, Pope is a guy with very little chill. Not only does he risk, yeah, he burned her alive, risk clearly not on board with either act. Yeah, he killed his own man. I mean, it's such a generic character at this point. 
Uh, she might have needed more convincing to rejoin the, the Reapers when they first knocked at her cabin, which, like, again, is completely contradictory to her viewing them as a family. <laughs> so, okay, so this was an interesting article. Uh, what's, I, I don't know this website. You can check it out. I don't know. It's whatever. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you feel that this is a plot hole? Do you have any explanations for it that I that aren't mentioned here or that I didn't think of? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. We're going to be doing uh, more Walking Dead videos. We will be reviewing it on Sunday. Very much looking forward to the season returning. As critical as I've been of season 11 so far, I, I'm excited to see it. And I'm looking forward to reviewing it with you guys again. So let me know what you think. And I hope to see you in the next video. Hit the like if you like and sub for more Walking Dead content. I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.